welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video today we are going to be making a facial moisturizer an homemade facial moisturizer now moisturizer tend to hydrate the skin they also contain wrinkle fighting properties and when you use moisturizer on the skin it can help your skin to look fresher and radiant and also supple looking now this moisturizer I'm going to share with you today is a moisturizer that is rich in anti-aging properties vitamin A vitamin C and vitamin E it will help to tighten and firm the skin it also hydrates the skin it's also reduced the wrinkles and fine lines and best of all we're using all natural ingredient ingredients you probably already have in your kitchen this moisturizer all you need is two to three drops on the skin two to three drops that can transform your skin to turn your skin into a more naturally glowing skin so if you're interested in this homemade facial moisturizer follow me to the kitchen I'm gonna show you the recipe step by step and at the end I'll show a live demonstration and how to use this on your skin for best results for this recipe you're gonna need a blender you're also gonna need a strainer for straining and a small bowl today we're gonna be using some flax seeds we're using about a teaspoon of flax seeds flax seed will help to tighten and firm the skin it's rich in protein it help to boost the collagen production in the skin the first thing we're gonna do with the flax seed we're gonna brew it we want to turn this into a jar. Now you can choose to boil the flax seed or you can choose to pour hot water. We're pouring about three tablespoons of the hot water on the flax seeds. So once we pour our hot water on the flax seed, we're gonna pour this in a blender and make sure the water is still boiling point. And what we're gonna do next, we're gonna blend. So we're gonna cover and we're gonna blend. And while this is still very warm, we're gonna strain. Now after straining, here we have our blended flax seed. Now what is gonna happen to this is, once you set it aside to cool, it's gonna get thick, it's gonna form a gel-like consistency. So place your flax seed liquid to the side to cool, and then when we are done, we're gonna come back and we're gonna add some other ingredient. After cooling our flax seed, this is it, and this is now jelly-like. So now we are gonna put this together. Now to make our facial serum, we're gonna start off by using one tablespoon of our flaxseed gel. We're gonna be using some avocado oil and avocado oil contains vitamin A, vitamin C and vitamin E. It also contains omega. It's a very good oil to use for anti-aging purposes. So we're using one teaspoon for this end of our avocado oil next we are going to reach for some cucumber seed oil it's a very special oil if you do not have it don't sweat it you can go ahead and you could use any of your favorite oil very light oil that will not clog the pores it leaves the skin hydrated and it's good for wrinkles and fine lines we're using a teaspoon of the cucumber seed oil so here we have some flaxseed gel, we have cucumber seed oil, we also have some avocado oil. My next ingredient is some aloe vera gel, and today I'm using the store-bought aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is hydrating, how to get rid of pigmentation on the skin. So I'm going to use a tablespoon of the aloe vera gel, pour this in. Clean hands, make sure to get everything out. My final ingredient is some vitamin E oil, which helps to nourish the skin and keep your DIY longer. Very hydrating. So I'm using about a half a, a teaspoon of the vitamin E oil. Use your discretion with the vitamin E oil. And now we are gonna mix together. We're mixing flax seeds. We're mixing avocado oil. We're mixing aloe vera gel. 
cucumber seed oil and vitamin E now you can choose to leave this as is it's gonna thicken up or if you want it to be more of a creamy consistency you can place it back in the blender I like when it is very creamy so I'm gonna place it back in the blender so either you get it in gel form by not blending or you get it in a cream form by blending so let's just cover and we're gonna blend So after blending, let's pour this out. Very, very rich and creamy with a gel like consistency. So now, here we have our facial moisturizer. Now, this moisturizer is great to use on the skin AM and PM. Let me reach for my storage container. You can choose to store this in a hoop and jar or you can choose to store it in a bottle like this one I'm gonna store mine in the bottle and let's just pour this in now here is the facial moisturizer and now I'm going to show you how to use it now before you use this facial moisturizer I suggest that you exfoliate your skin so make sure to do your regular skincare routine by cleansing your skin every day and exfoliating at least two to three times per week now for this moisturizer you do not need a lot all you need is about two to three drops of the moisturizer if you have dry skin go ahead and use about four drops and this amount is good enough and what I like to do I like to just rub it in my hands like this and then I just press it on my skin it's an anti-aging facial moisturizer it's good to use a.m. and it's good to use p.m. so apply it on clean skin pressing it in the skin now when you press this moisturizer on the skin don't forget to take it down on the neck and decollete after you apply it to the skin I suggest that you do a little mini facial massage so just focus on the areas where you're trying to get rid of wrinkles such as your forehead your laugh lines just live it up this is gonna take you about two minutes or so and guess what guys that's it you are now fully moisturized